Hello there, welcome back. In this video, we're going to continue with our Manage Categories feature and to kick this video off, I want to actually add a few categories because I want to show you some stuff, okay? So if we take something like this, which is a real music site, you can see that they've got a variety of different things. So I'm seeing guitars, right? We've got that. Let's add... Um, FX pedals, that looks cool, right? So we're going to just add a few categories, right? So here we go. Uh, so this category is going to be called FX pedals and it's a main category, so there is no parent category. I'm going to say submit. Okay, that's good. And you can see that it's added FX pedals here. Uh, let's add pickups, technology, just the kind of things you'd expect to see in a music shop. So we'll do pickups, uh, okay, and we'll do uh, technology, something like that. Okay, um, what else have we got? We'll do folk instruments and accessories, okay? So let's do, now let me just check something here. We'll do folk instruments you know something I'm not entirely sure if I'm into this uh, pressing cancel to go back well okay we'll keep it in I suppose we could have added a button that says return to main uh, section or something I don't know but it's okay main categories page uh, accessories let's do that okay so these these are all main categories, right? Here they are, it's the main categories. Now, when you look at guitars, here is the category of guitars. We've got Fender guitars, right? But let's add some other subcategories for guitars. So guitars could have Fender guitars. Then you've got Gibson, okay? Uh, guitars, something like that. And then I suppose you could say... Uh, add a new category, we'll do guitars, let's do Ibanez, Ibanez, guitars, something like that, okay, uh, what else, another type of guitar manufacturer is Jackson, these are all um, different guitar companies, okay, and uh, we'll do one more. Let's do, let's see, what's a, what's a good guitar company? Uh, we've got Fender, Gibson. Let's do uh, BC Rich, okay? Just one more. So let's uh, do that. And we'll say add new category. Uh, guitars, category title, BC Rich, okay? So I could stay here all day and add all of these different categories and subcategories. And when you look at this page here, you can see that if we actually were doing this for real, then it, it would not take too long at all until this whole page becomes very big and very messy. I mean, look at all the potential categories here. We've got guitars and effects and everything. So this page, is just going to become very, very confusing. And the question is, well, how can you actually order this stuff? Is there a better way to display all of this so that we know what's going on and it's nice and easy to uh, work with the thing? Well, I would say that the answer is yes. And that's what this video is all about. What we are going to do is we're going to open up the store categories controller, right? And the goal here is to make everything nice and easy. So I'm going to go to uh, this manage here and I'm going to say parent cat ID equals this URI segment three. Okay. And if not is numeric parent cat ID, then parent cat ID equals zero, okay? Now, when we're doing this query here, I'm going to change this query so that it says get where custom, and it's going to get where parent cat ID equals 
parent cat ID, okay? So what's going to happen now when we look at this page? Well, we're going to, it's going to look at the top for an ID for a number. Now it, wo it will not find one. So it's going to just return all of the parent categories. Here we go. Okay, so you can see that we've now simplified and it just shows you the parent categories. It's the coolest thing ever. Okay, uh, now if we have a look at something like, let me, uh, let me just have a look at the database table actually. And if we look at something like Fender Guitars, which has uh, a parent category of one, can you see that? And you can see all of those guitar companies, Gibson Guitars, parent category of one. Well, check this out. If we go manage forward slash one, then we can see all of the guitars here, okay? So it's a very, very cool thing and uh, a much easier way, I think, to display all of this stuff. So what we'll do now is we'll go back to the manage page and you see where it says parent category here? Now let me have a think about this actually. Um, what we'll do is we'll change this column so that it says subcategories and then when we click onto the subcategories it'll take us to the actual page in question. Let me show you what I mean, it's actually quite easy, okay? So I'm going to open up store categories forward slash manage and right on the table here where it says parent category, well uh, actually what I think I'll do is I wonder if we should add a new column. How about that? Subcategories. Let's just do that for the moment, okay? And subcategories uh, is going to go here, like that. And we're going to have some stuff in here. So if we hit refresh, you can see that we've got this subcategories column here, and it's going to show us the subcategories, okay? So, um, what I'm going to do now, do you see this little button here? That's actually quite cool. I quite like that little button. So, what we'll do is we'll take, um, I think we'll count the subcategories actually. So, let's do that. So, let's just say something like, uh, her, her. one moment, I'm just thinking here. I'm just thinking. Um, I'm just trying to think of a good way to do this. Okay, let's just build a method that says function count sub cats, okay? And it's going to take an update ID. And what this is going to do is return the number of subcategories belonging to this category. So to do that, it's going to say query equals this, get where custom, where parent cat ID equals update ID. And then we're just going to say num, whoops, num rows equals query num rows and return num rows. It's as simple as that, okay? So if we now go, uh, I'm going to save that. So I've saved that. Now I'm going to go to manage and right up here, I'll say num subcats for number of subcategories, okay? And that's going to be store categories count subcats. And it's going to do it with the update ID, which of course is row ID. And if we go in here and we go num subcats, then when we hit refresh, you'll see that it shows us how many subcategories we've got here, okay? So I'm going to do a little if statement here. Let me just go into PHP. And I'll say, if num subcats is less than one, then echo, we'll do a little line. Otherwise, echo num subcats 
Okay, whoops. I got to say echo here. Okay, so let's refresh, have a look. Right, this is starting to look kind of cool. So the next uh, thing on the agenda, now let me just have a think about this. I think I'm going to have uh, a thing here for viewing the subcategories, okay? So I'm going to say... Right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to say if num subcats is equivalent to 1, then entity equals category. Otherwise, entity equals categories. Okay? And then I'm going to take this button here with the little i thing going out of php we're going to paste that thing in like so okay and then around about here i'm going into php i'm going to say num sub cats and then uh num sub cats let me just have a think here let me just do old php codes just so that this is clear echo num sub cats then we'll do a space and then we'll do a thing called entity okay so um let's just refresh have a look okay so it now says five categories which is kind of cool i like that we can take this out and in fact I'm going to change this success thing to default just so that it looks a little bit different okay that's good and then the link is going to go to um, let me just see something like Right, so we'll, we'll add the URL and maybe, let's have a think, how about here? So the sub cat URL equals base URL store categories forward slash manage forward slash row ID and then this link here goes to sub cat URL. So we'll hit refresh and if we click on this you'll see that we can very easily navigate around the categories section now. So we've got guitars here, there are no subcategories but we can click in and look at that. See? Nice easy navigation. I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!